What's going on everybody? Top 10 Pokemon back and I am bringing you another fantastic Pokemon card auctions of the week recap. Folks, there was a very healthy balance of PSA, BGS, and CGC graded cards. Tons of each of those. We even got a couple of booster box sales that were pretty interesting. Something for everybody in this video, so thank you so much for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. No sponsorship this week, just good old-fashioned me. So if you please give the video a like, and please be a subscriber if you're not already. I would really appreciate it. And if you would please use my eBay affiliate link to support the channel. If you do any shopping on eBay, gives the channel a small kickback, so thank you so much for doing that. So that's pretty much my whole spiel. Let's ease it in nice and slow in this auction recap, starting off with some graded Scarlet and Violet cards. Uh, we won't be talking about these graded Scarlet and Violet cards too much more in these auction recaps. They're just not very interesting uh, in terms of their prices. Uh, but it is the newest set out so far. Here is a Maridon EX Gold Secret Rare card that sold for about $76 as a PSA 10. And then we saw this Coridon EX, also a Gold Secret Rare card, that sold for $93. And then here we saw a Gardevoir EX that sold as a PSA 10 for $120. Now from the newest Japanese set, Clay Burst, we saw this Iono Full Art Trainer. Now this is the big card in the English version as well. This card sold as a Gem Mint 10 for $1,400, and then again for $1,443, and then again for $1,511 this week. We also saw the Special Delivery Bidoof take a little dive in its value as far as PSA 10s go. This week we saw a sale of $787, and another sale for $610. And if you recall, a week or two ago this card was selling for about a little over a thousand dollars. The last sale was for one thousand fifty-five dollars. So I'm not sure what's going on with special delivery Bidoof, but uh, it's come down just a little bit this week. We saw a couple of very valuable Lily cards. This is the Lily Full Art Trainer from Sun and Moon Base. It sold this week for one thousand seventy-six dollars. And then we saw a Chinese Full Art Lily from the uh, All Star Collection set in PSA ten that sold for one thousand five hundred and twenty-five dollars. Uh, a couple of BGS 10 cards to go over here is a black label Mewtwo V-Star that snuck in a price of about $1,000 in auction. Here is a Japanese Pikachu V-Max as a BGS 10 black label that sold for $2,191 US dollars. Here we saw a BGS 10 Japanese Umbreon V-Max. Heavy, heavy hitting card sold this week for $3,652. We saw a couple of interesting Gengar cards. Here is a Black Label Gengar VMAX uh, from Fusion Strike that sold for $454. Here is a Japanese Gengar EX from the Phantom Gate set. It's an XY set that sold for $1,301. And then we saw a Black Label Japanese Gengar VMAX alternate art. Uh, that sold for $4,300. Up next is a black and white Zekrom promo. This is the 15th anniversary card. Uh, sold as a CGC 10 this week for $3,650. Then here is another black label. This is from Celebration Set. It is the Rockets Zapdos. That sold this week for $430. We saw a 25th anniversary Charizard come by as a black label. Sold for $6,413. And then here, folks, this is a crazy price. And this is from a seller in Australia. It is the Latios Latios GX that as a PSA 10 sold this week for 2,720 US dollars. Up next are a few extremely expensive promo Pikachu cards. Here is a uh, Team Skull Pikachu got the CGC 10 perfect. Perfect. And sold for $3,550. Here is an Art Academy Competition Pikachu in PSA 10 that sold for $8,500. And then here is another heavy hitting Art Academy Pikachu card. This is an XY promo that sold as a PSA 10 for $15,600. Ooh boy. Up next, we have an Illusions Zoroa promo in CGC 10 that sold for $3,919. And then we have a CGC 10 Illusions Zoroark promo that sold for $3,919 as well. Here we have a Japanese 2006 Tropical Tidal Wave promo in CGC 10 that sold for $4,705. And then we had several of the Mario Pikachu, Luigi Pikachu cards come by, uh, hitting some 
insane numbers. Here's a Luigi Pikachu in PSA 10 that sold for $1,542, while the CGC 10 Perfect copy sold for $2,225. Here we have the Mario Pikachu in PSA 10 that sold for $2,025, while the full art version has got a CGC 9.5 and sold for $5,223, while the PSA 10 example sold for $6,800. Some of these Japanese promo prices are just knocking my socks off folks and then lastly for our japanese promos here's the cgc9 shining magikarp this is the unnumbered promo uh the 60 600 point promo that sold for 5755 big ones all right getting into a lot of vintage graded cards this is a huge mixture of cgc and psa graded cards let's go through each of them here is a CGC 10 base set hollow of Clefairy. This is an unlimited copy that sold for an even $700. While this CGC 10 first edition base set Pikachu, this is the yellow cheeks version, sold for $2,125. While the red cheeks variant in the CGC 10 sold for $3,400. Here is a CGC 10 first edition hollow Gyarados from base set that sold for $4,550. Here is a holographic Chansey from Base 2. Uh, beautiful looking holographic on this card. Sold as a PSA 10 for $1,452. From Jungle Set, we saw a CGC 10 First Edition Pinsir Hollow that sold for $710, while the CGC 10 Electrode sold for $860. And then here we saw a PSA 10 First Edition Clefable that sold for $2,750. From Fossil, we saw a CGC 10 First Edition Hitmonlee that sold for $485, while the CGC 10 Kabutops sold for $560. Here is a CGC 10 Holographic Zapdos from Fossil, sold for $630, and then a PSA 10 First Edition Aerodactyl sold for $710. We saw a few bangers from Team Rocket set. Here's a CGC 10 Dark Raichu Hollow. First edition that sold for $1,136, while the first edition Dragon Knight sold for $1,626. And then we saw a CGC 10 Dark Charizard come by that sold for $3,050. Uh, we saw several cars from the gym series. Here is an Erica's Dragonair, got a CGC 10 and sold for $580, while the Giovanni's Gyarados sold for $695, the Lieutenant Surge's Fero sold for $831, and then a Koga's B Drill sold for $1,036. And let's not forget this CGC 10 Sabrina's Gengar Hollow that sold for a staggering $3,050. And then here, folks, check this out. We've been covering this card a lot. This week, we saw this holographic Black Star promo Mew come by as a CGC 10 Perfect. We've been seeing this card come by as a CGC 10 Pristine. It's been all over the place, uh, ranging from the low hundreds all the way up to over a thousand. This perfect example sold this week for $3,350. Just a couple of cards from the Neo series. Here's a first edition Azumarill Hollow, sold as a PSA 10 for 776 US dollars. Here's a Feraligator Hollow. This is the number four Feraligator from Neo Genesis, sold for $1,030. Here's a CGC 10 first edition Ho-Oh from Neo Revelation, sold for $2,358. And then we saw this first edition Shining Tyranitar in CGC 10. It sold for $3,250. Just a couple of reverse hollow uh, cards from Legendary Collection that got the CGC 10. Here's a Primate that sold for $333. Here's a Rapidash sold for $366. A Dark Persian that sold for $424. And then a Growlithe that sold for $626. And then here is a CGC 10 Dark Dragonite Hollow, also from Legendary Collection, that sold for $1,059. A couple of E-Series cards. Here's the CGC 10 Raikou Hollow from Sky Ridge, sold for $760. This Flareon Hollow, also from Sky Ridge, sold for $1,111. And this Moltres, also from Sky Ridge, sold for $1,180. We saw a Crystal Golem sell for $1,280. And here's a PSA 10 uh, Tyranitar Hollow from Aquapolis. Beautiful card, sold for $1,775. 
Uh, we saw this Japanese Crystal Ho-Oh that sold as a PSA 10 for $3,550. And then we saw a CGC 10 Perfect Scizor uh, from Aquapolis that sold for $2,300. And lastly for the E-Series, here's a reverse holographic Crystal Charizard from Sky Ridge that sold for $5,300. Several EX cards came by. Here is a CGC 10 Sneasel EX sold for $393. Here's a PSA 10 Hitmonchan EX that sold for $710. A CGC 10 Latios EX from EX Dragon sold for $810. Here we saw a Ho-Oh EX from Unseen Forces in PSA 10 that sold for $836. Here is a Rockets Zapdos EX that got the CGC 10 sold for $880. Here is a CGC 10 Mewtwo EX from uh, Ruby and Sapphire sold for $1,358. And then here is a seldom seen Entei EX from Team Magma versus Team Aqua in PSA 10 that sold for $1,580. Here is a Rockets Snorlax EX in PSA 10 that sold for $2,225. And then here is a PSA 10 Blaziken EX that sold for $2,600 this week. Uh, alongside this Suicune EX, also from Team Magma versus Team Aqua, that sold for an even $3,000. A couple of other cards from the EX era that weren't EX cards. Here is a holographic Charmander from EX Dragon. Got the CGC 10 and sold for $422. Here is a holographic Azumarill from EX Delta Species. A very low pop card. I think it's like a pop 7 maybe? I'll, I'll look that up. It is very low pop. Sold for $787 this week. And then up next, we saw a few interesting booster box sales from Heritage. Here is an unlimited base set booster box that sold for $13,750. And this base set box actually has the Green Wing Charizard on the side of it, but it's almost definitely unlimited cards inside of it. Here is a first edition jungle box that sold for $13,750. Here is a fossil box that sold for $11,250. And then here's a gym challenge booster box, first edition, sold for an even $15,000. And then lastly for our booster boxes, here's a Japanese base set box that sold for $26,250. Just a couple of interesting sales from golden auctions. Here is a... Uh, 1996 base set Japanese Charizard in PSA 10 sold for $5,100. We saw a uh, BGS 9.5 Crystal Charizard from Sky Ridge sold for $6,198. And then here is a PSA 10 First Edition Shining Charizard from Neo Destiny that sold for $9,067. Woo! And let's finish off this auction recap with PWCC's weekly auction block. Here's a PSA 10 First Edition Dark Espeon from Neo Destiny sold for $3,360. Here is a Japanese limited collection Master Battle Pikachu card in PSA 10, sold for $4,200. Here is a first edition Dragonite from Fossil. Uh, we see this card come by all the time. It always sells for a good bit. Sold this week for $4,200. Here we have a BGS 10 Master Battle Set Alola Friends card that sold for $14,400. And then lastly for our PWCC auctions, here is a 2004 Japanese World's Championship Tropical Wind promo card sold as a PSA 10 for a staggering $24,600. And then our auction of the week, we're going back to eBay of the sale of the Gold Star Rayquaza that came by as a PSA 10. Uh, what can you say, folks? It's a Gold Star Rayquaza. It's a PSA 10. It's got a brand new cert number on there. Sold for $48,598. Uh, that might be the highest price that might be the highest sale we've ever seen of a Gold Star Rayquaza. I'm not sure I'm going to look it up, but I'm pretty sure that's the highest sale we've seen at 48,598 big ones. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it more than you know. That's all I got for you today. I hope you liked it. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will catch you all in my next one.